Whenever we start an analysis, you know, you do one thing and then it raises more questions and then sometimes this, this project just expands into this whole other thing. There's never nothing to do here. There will never be nothing to do here, which is what I love, you know, every day is different. Right now we're in the Harvard Art Museums and in particular we are in the Strauss Centre for Conservation which um, sits on the fourth and fifth floors of the museum and we do scientific analysis of the artworks in the collection. Our role in the museum is to help understand the collection. So we understand it on a molecular level, we figure out what things are made of. So we help the conservators understand what the materials are so they know what they can do to clean it, to treat it, if there's a break, what materials they can use without causing any other damage. So we're very fortunate here to have a really great collection of reference materials and this that stretches all the way along here is, sort of, is called our pigment corridor. Um, so over the years materials have been collected that can be used as reference materials. Um, we have this collection of pigments here and as you can see we have a variety of different colours but what you can notice is that some of these colours have faded. So we know what these pigments are and we know that they're affected by light. So when we're looking at paintings or anything with these pigments we already know that they have light sensitivity issues. The the best thing we like to do is to do non-destructive analysis. We only take samples when we have to. So to take a sample, it's um, a very sharp blade. So typically we'd use a surgical scalpel and it never gets any less nerve-wracking taking a scalpel to, you know, this beautiful priceless painting. But we can look for like cracks in the painting and just take a small little piece that you can't see with a naked eye. It's all done under a microscope and it's like the size of a grain of sand. You know, if you sneeze, that sample's gone. Right here what I have is a cross section. So um, what we do is we'll take a sample from a painting. This one actually came from John Singer Sargent's paint palette. He's a very prolific Boston artist. Um, he did the murals at Boston Public Library. When you make a cross section like this, you never know quite what to expect until you get it under the microscope. and. You know, it's almost like an artwork in itself. People want you to work miracles and you can only do so much and I think we do a really good job. We can get a lot of information out of that tiny grain of sand. <laughs>